It is November 26th, Pastor saying to us, Dominion over death and hell. Our opening scripture comes from the book of Revelation chapter 1 verse 18. I am he that liveth and was dead, and behold, I am alive forevermore. Amen. And have the keys of hell and of death. Following Adam's disobedience, the Bible says, Death came upon all men. Wherefore, as by one man, sin entered into the world, and death by sin. And so death passed upon all men, for that all have sinned. Romans chapter 5 verse 12. Death was associated with sin. So when Adam committed high treason back in the Garden of Eden by obeying Satan, death began to work in every man. Satan gained liberty to afflict men with sickness, disease, destruction, and ultimately death at his will. But when Jesus came, things changed. Men and women who were all their lifetime subject to bondage because of the fear of death were liberated through the victory of Jesus Christ over death and the grave. Hebrews chapter 2 verses 14 to 15. Jesus went right into hell, Satan's domain paralyzed Satan and his cohorts and obtained the keys of death and hell. He dealt with the problem of death when he triumphantly rose from the dead and ushered man into a new life. Today, anyone who's born again needs not fear death, for death has been defeated by Jesus. No wonder the Bible says in 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verses 54 to 57, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sting? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. But thanks be to God, which giveth us the victory through our Lord Jesus Christ. He's given us victory over death and the grave. Today, Satan can no longer take anybody's life at will because he doesn't have the power of death anymore. Christ has given us life to live to the full. In his presence is fullness of joy, and at his right hand are pleasures evermore. The thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have and enjoy life, and have it in abundance, to the full, till it overflows. John chapter 10, verse 10 of the Amplified Classic. Please say this confession with me. I'm crucified with Christ. Nevertheless, I live. Yet not I, but Christ lives in me. And the life which I now live in the flesh, I live by the faith of the Son of God. I've been brought into life and immortality. I'm fearless, for death has been paralyzed, defeated by Jesus. And when he did it, I was in him. Hallelujah. For further study, Please read Romans chapter 6, verses 9 to 11, 2 Timothy chapter 1, verses 8 to 10, and Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 to 15. For the one-year Bible reading plan, please read 1 Peter chapter 5 and Ezekiel chapters 35 to 36. For the two-year Bible reading plan, please read Revelation chapter 2, verses 1 to 12, and Hosea chapters 5 to 6. Rhapsody of reality.